Colby Covington is quite possibly the greatest villain to ever grace the UFC, loved by many and hated by more. He has become one of the most popular fighters of the modern era, but in the wake of his fight with Leon Edwards at UFC 295, it appears even some of his longtime fans have begun to turn on the former interim welterweight champ and more people than ever seem to hate the long-term contender. But what exactly is the reason behind the recent string of hate, even from former fans? Was it his comments against Edwards, the excuses in the wake of the fight, or has the past finally caught up with one of the UFC's greatest heels? Join us and find out why you hate Colby more than ever. Love him or hate him, Colby Covington had quite an impressive run during his early days with the UFC. He quickly proved his wrestling background deserved respect. And in his first nine fights, Colby earned eight wins, four of which come by way of a finish. While he wasn't the most exciting fighter, he was climbing the rankings. Colby was then booked to face Damian Meyer in 2017 on a fight night card in Brazil. Rumours before the fight, which Colby later backed up, claimed he was close to getting cut simply because the UFC didn't see him as a draw. But that night in Brazil changed the course of history for the American fighter, as in the wake of his victory speech inside the octagon. He referred to the native crowd as filthy animals. A star was truly born. Brazil, you're a dog! All you filthy animals suck! One the people just love to hate. Colby became what every WWE star could only dream of becoming, the sport's ultimate heel. He became the UFC's Ric Flair, a man that had no problem saying exactly what was on his mind and often sought to expose any mental weakness he could in his opponents. While Colby went on to win the welterweight's interim belt in his next fight by defeating Rafael Dasanyo, he also earned a name for himself as one of the promotion's most hated fighters. The American was hated for several reasons, most of which stemmed from his trash talking and provocative behavior. Colby was never scared to let his mouth fly and would do so to all of his next opponents. On top of his disrespectful attitude, Colby's many fans were under the impression he put on a persona to further hype up his marketability. While some enjoyed the acting and drama that came with it, others saw it as attracting attention without genuine skills or sportsmanship. While Colby was certainly hated by many fans after defeating Jorge Masvidal back at UFC 272, he still had an enormous fan base of die-hard Americans who saw him as their soon-to-be champ. But this would change after what unfolded at UFC 296. The UFC finally announced Colby's return, and he would face off against Leon Edwards at the end of 2023. Yet. Many fans were upset with this announcement for numerous reasons, included the fact that Chaos hadn't fought in over 20 months at this point. Before we explain why you hate Colby more than ever, we'd like to first mention our monthly shout out. All you need to do to enter is comment I sub in the comments section below. So make sure to comment and you'll have a chance of winning. Colby managed to keep his loyal fan base on his side throughout the majority of the fight promotion. However, at the UFC 296 press conference, Colby verbally assaulted Leon Edwards, deceased father, and the internet went crazy. Longtime fans of the former interim champ were disgusted by the comments, and many even began turning against Colby. But this was only the beginning. When the pair finally met inside the octagon, Colby put on a poor performance after endless trash talking in the lead up, which sent his haters into overdrive. Whether it was ring rust or Edwards' skill set, Colby was completely outmatched on the evening and lost by a decision. This added further fuel to the fire for those who began to turn on Colby, and in true fashion, he saved the best excuse for last. At the UFC 296 post-fight press conference, Colby tried to convince the crowd he had won the fight, saying, I thought the third, fourth, and fifth rounds were mine. The fifth was mine easily. The fourth was mine too, and I thought I did enough in the third. He didn't put any damage on me. He got a couple of low kicks, but then I started checking them at the end, so I thought I had the win and did enough. At this point, fans began to see a delusional side of Colby and he couldn't back up his crazy comments with his in-ring actions. He even said his political ideas forced the judges to throw the fight, claiming, the judges never favor me. They hate me because I support Trump, and everybody hates Trump in this building, so it is what it is. Life goes on. Excuses such as these can lose fighters their loyal fan base in a matter of days. 
and Colby's stock was dropping quick. It was the former interim champ's first loss since a loss to Kamaru Usman in 2021. And many are doubting the 35-year-old has what it takes to wear gold, considering he is now 0-3 in undisputed UFC championship fights. After everything that went down at UFC 296 with Edwards, it appears that Colby's shtick doesn't work unless he's winning fights. If not, many fans see him as an overconfident, disrespectful, aging fighter, and that's why you hate Colby more than ever.